Beijing goes on lockdown, millions are quarantined. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on Twitter.com. So, we're going to be talking about the Twatters, and in specific, Beijing, right? Beijing is the capital of China, and it looks like finally shutting down. Now, all I've been hearing from the mainstream media and from all these, uh, uh, you know, like the, the establishment, is that the coronavirus is not a big deal. It's not even as bad as the flu, man. Never mind the millions of people being quarantined, dragged out of their homes, dragged into hospitals, and freaking sealed in their own homes at some point. But my oh me, it looks like a big boy China is shutting down Beijing. Here we are with Jennifer Zheng. Finally, hashtag Beijing partially locked down. All communities under closed down model management. Original language, original Chinese language announcement here. Hashtag moon runes. Hashtag coronavirus. I can't read that. I'm not, <laughs> I, I don't know what it means, okay? So Candice Wong, Candice Wong with her, uh, with her social credit points here seems to be saying, seemed their official numbers, things were getting better. Why a lockdown? Imagine actually believing China. Jennifer Zhang says, official numbers are never to be trusted. Thank you. Finally, someone says it. You can't trust the official numbers from China. This is Corona we're talking about. These are communists. They don't tell the truth. China has a long history of censorship, silence, oppression, violation of human rights. Remember, there's that whistleblower who warned about coronavirus weeks before the outbreak. And what did the government do? What did the Chinese government do? They silenced him. They silenced him. They ignored him. They threatened him. The disease broke out. It infected a bunch of people. Now it's trying to spread worldwide. And that doctor whistleblower died. China is not to be trusted. Now here we have a more recent map. Um, the spread of the coronavirus confirmed cases of 2019 and COV as of February 10th. Okay. All right. So let's take a look. Um, there are 12 cases in the United States. And this is just what we know of. 12 cases in the US, 7 in Canada, 27 in South Korea, 95 in Japan. Hong Kong is 36, Australia 15, Thailand 32, but China itself has most of the outbreaks. Um, in mainland China, there are 40,000 known cases and over 900 fatalities. But it, I think it's far worse than that, okay? Because I've seen reports out of China saying, we're burning hundreds of bodies per day. The doctors, uh, the authorities refuse to test the bodies. So I think the real numbers, not only do I believe it's 100,000 infected and thousands dead, I do not believe China. Now you see big tech and the mainstream media trying to downplay the, the whole issue and saying, oh no, that that's no way that's possible. They would never lie. Corona Chan isn't that bad. It's just a flu, bro. Yeah, I don't believe it for a second. I've seen people being dragged out of their cars, shoved into death cubes. Mm. Mm. So they're literally just locking people in their houses. Um, never mind if they have enough supplies to survive. They're literally, they're, they're sealing homes shut. You know, everyone wants to talk about how great China is and how prosperous the country is. It's all propaganda. But the reality is China is a communist country. It is corrupt. Chinese communist incompetence, the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, their incompetence is what led to this outbreak. And now it would be one thing if China was the only one suffering from the disease, I would say, well, you know, that's just what happens. But they're getting us all sick. China, the incompetent commies, are gonna take us all down with them. So they're locking it down, they're shutting down Beijing, they're shutting people in their homes. Will that be enough to contain the violent, the, the virus? I honestly don't think so. I think it's far worse than they've ever dared to admit. So here's a more wholesome video. I don't know how much I can play from it, but it's a man, uh, he's singing songs to people, like uh, providing entertainment. That's actually kind of nice to see in these, in these dark times. 
I hope DJ Freedom, that's what I'm gonna call him, because he was wearing a, the American flag base. Godspeed, DJ Freedom, Godspeed. The China's quarantine, not only is it inhumane, and uh, you know what, I'll pull up a few clips just to illustrate. Here's a clip of people dragged to the hospital against their will. Here's a video of a woman being dragged from her car and knocked out, presumably injected with the mysterious substance. And who could forget the infamous death cube? As, as, as they do these harsh measures, as they burn bodies, as they hide official numbers, as the pandemic spreads and takes over all of China, and they're, they're trying to stop it through force, through spraying chemicals, who knows if it even fixes it. People are trying to flee. You see, this quarantine's gonna backfire, and this happened, this has happened before. Um, the fear that the Chinese Communist Party is generating will make people try to flee and leave the country and etc. And what do you think is going to happen if a bunch of sick people start running away from China? So apparently this is a woman from inside Beijing. And I find this pretty interesting. She's saying she's gonna get screened in the hotel. What exactly did he put in her face? Was that sort of some sort of retinal scan? Some sort of sickness detector? More importantly, what would have happened if she uh, came up as sick? So I decided to go ahead and translate the article. The mainland capital has fallen. Announced closed management of Beijing, Banfeng city. The outbreak of pneumonia. Is that what they're calling it in China? They're calling it pneumonia? Oh my god, I noticed in another video they're refusing to call it coronavirus. They don't even want people to know the real name of the virus. Is China seriously trying to hide the name of the virus? It's corona. Corona. It's pneumonia. People are just getting pneumonia. They're dropping dead because their lungs are getting too full. This is those darn Westerners, you know? So they're going to do, okay, yeah, they're, they're basically declaring martial law. They're going to closely manage residential quarters. I'm sure more people are going to get locked in their homes. They're going to papers, please, everybody. Check papers, make sure everything's in order. Uh, they're going under authoritarian, like, you know, China was never free. But now it is extremely on uh, under regulation strict regulation of people coming to beijing strict management services for key groups um they're observing anyone who has who may have left a high endemic area which means an area of you know with a lot of infected people so refusing to accept medical observation home observation or any other preventative and control measures that constitute violations of public security management shall be dealt with seriously by public security organs according to law. If a crime is constituted, criminal responsibility shall invest be investigated according to the law. So what that means is, if they think you're sick, and you're not sick, and they decide to take you to the gulag, to the, to the white cube of mysterious screaming, or to a quarantine zone where you have no bathroom, no protection, uh, basically nothing, you're just left there, presumably to die. <laughs> well, that's too bad. You're a criminal. The, the fifth point is isolation. They're going to isolate everyone. They're going to strictly public space management. This is all pretty standard for what I would assume a communist country would do. And while I do think it should be taken seriously, the fear they're creating is no doubt 
making the situation worse, okay? They shouldn't be using this as an excuse to drag away people, to, to put people in cubes. It's total chaos in China. So for some reason, they're, uh, they're managing rental houses. They are strengthening basic living security. I don't know what this means, but I assume it means uh, they're setting a curfew, when stores can run, etc. Um, nine, they're strengthening awareness of national protection. Yada yada, wear masks. It can spread through the eyes, so that's really not going to help. And the CPPCC needs to uh, strengthen demonstration drive. It's up to the authorities to help prevent and control the epidemic, blah, blah, blah. So that's their little 10 point plan out of China. And I could, I don't know if I can leave a link to this translated story here if you want to see more. But there you have it, my friends. China is certainly a mess. But you know what, my friends, that's pretty much the story. I think it goes without saying that, well, China is not telling the truth about just how bad things are. And now, Beijing is on lockdown. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? What do you think about Beijing? What do you think about China? Do you think they're telling the truth? Because I don't. I don't believe them for one second. Be sure to let me know what you think. Now, as always, if you want to join me on Patreon or Subscribestar, uh, check out the links in the description. If you do join, you'll get access to a private Discord server. Sharing the video is also appreciated. Let everybody know what's going on in communist China. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.